Well, we're here at the Riggs and Techniques bench, and uh, we're getting talking to Ridge talking Murphy. Talking a little bit of dredging. We're talking about dredge fishing, which you know is a, a technique we use when we're, we're fishing for billfish. I've, I've always had a kind of a love-hate relationship with them because when we're fishing for sailfish in the wintertime, uh, we used to have to put together a lot of yeah. natural bait dredges to spend all night rigging everything correct. And, and, and and putting your hands in really cold water you know i didn't really appreciate it yeah not but, a whole lot of fun but you have to use them <laughs> you have to use them everybody you know if you're going to be fishing for billfish you have to pull a dredge and the main uh idea behind a dredge is it turns a a bunch of little baits you have into a bait yeah, school. A lot of presents. Correct. It's a big bait school that's following the boat, a giant silhouette. And Absolutely. all of these fish that we're trace chasing out there, all these billfish have great big eyeballs and they want to and they see something and they come up to the boat. And then we have baits that we've got out there in the spread and hopefully they'll switch off these bigs all the way up. Correct. To come all the through. way in and, and hopefully get to our baits or have somebody pitch in a bait to them. Let's say a marlin comes up and we've got a bunch of sailfish baits out there. It gets the angler involved, it's a lot more fun. But at the same time, there's a lot of work involved. And yes, I know that you've, you've, you've put it together some of these dredges here. Some of, These are some new uh, baits that you got on yeah, here. Tell us a little bit about some of these artificial something dredges. Something that we're playing with on Sportsman's Adventures this past year, getting mirror lure and savage involved. And they're actually um, the savage mullets. And they got right. a little paddle tail on them and they're already chin leaded, three ounces of chin lead, so they're not gonna spin. And you're not spending two days rigging baits that are gonna go soft in you know, three days or four days. Right. You, know, you gotta put a lot of salt. You don't have to travel around with a bunch of freezers. We get a couple boxes like this we're traveling around with. Easy to go into a suitcase, makes it a little more simpler. Well, well one thing that uh, really helps when you're using these artificial dredges is you don't have to use as much weight yeah. You're not pulling as much weight. Uh, yeah. Like, what are your normal weights that you're normally this, pulling? This with? is a smaller weight. This is a six pound lead. Mm -hmm. um, some of these guys are using up to 14, 16 pounds. You know, with these double tier of mullet dredges that we have, or even a single dredge like this one, you can mm -hmm. use 10 pound lead and get away with it. You know, and so you're downscaling a lot. Right. Less drag. You know, if you're going to have bigger dredges, you're going to have more lead. You're going to have little simpler dredges like one of those mylars a little bit less lead and you can downscale a little. So right. you can play with them. They come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Um, we, this is what we've been trying to use lately. It's been working for us. Well, another good advantage of using the artificials is the speed. You control them a little faster yep. uh, again, and you're not having to worry about them falling apart during the day, hopefully. Although sometimes, you know, uh, barracudas and other little tiki <laughs> yeah. critters can come in and make your day uh, a little, a little less, more challenge. Yeah, <laughs> a little less fun sometimes, especially if there's a lot of them. Um, but a, a really cool thing here, I, I, I've noticed that you've got the uh, mud flaps on here. Yeah. And the, and the mud flap teasers have been a really big draw in the last few years. How, you know, do you like, how do you like those mud flaps the for fish, the silhouettes there? The fish razors, mud flaps, they work really well for us. Um, they look like a school of tunas, and everybody knows that <laughs> blue marlins are going to love he a big school tuna of tunas. Fishes. You know, Chris Sheeter, God rest his soul, he said, if there's one thing I'm pulling on a dredge, it's going to be mud flaps. So That's awesome. I always try to keep that incorporated in our spread. And we got a little trick though, right here. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit. There's what you times got there. that we're going. You know, you're going to break these dredge bars. It's it's inevitable. So right. instead of losing, you know. $30 worth of mirror lures, mud flaps, mullets, whatever it may be on breaking one of these dredge arms. We're putting a little piece of 400 on here and just crimping it through the actual rings of the dredge. So it's an easier way to just kind of maintain your tackle. Yeah, <laughs> go that, through that's really money. awesome because you know, you, you'll save maybe not only one, but two of these arms and they can get really pricey. Yeah, it gets you expensive. Know, an quick. island lures, you know, $30. I actually, uh, we used to cleat them off on our, we had a center console boat uh -huh. and we would actually cleat off a little dredge like this. Yeah. But we made one giant one one time, uh, we called it the crystal dredge and we had tons of mylar uh, strips, island island lures on there. And uh, my buddy let go of it oh, no. and it went away. <laughs> I, I could still picture in my head the sailfish circling <laughs> that thing as it went down to the bottom and of the ocean. Goes. But, I really appreciate it, man. Thanks Thank for you. coming out Thank and telling us a little bit about these dredges. Appreciate it.